Good morning to you on this Wednesday morning. Today we continue with Psalm 69 from verse 20. Reproach has broken my heart and I am so sick. I looked for sympathy but there was none, and for comforters but I found none. They also gave me gall for my food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. May the table before them become a snare, and when they are in peace may it become a trap. May their eyes grow dim so that they cannot see, and make their loins shake continually. Pour out your indication, vin, indication on them, and may your burning anger overtake them. May their camp be desolate, may none dwell in their tents. For they have persecuted him whom you yourself have smitten, and they tell of the pain of those whom you have wounded. Add iniquity to their iniquity, and may they not come into your righteousness. May they be blotted out of the book of life. May they not be recorded with the righteous. But I am afflicted and in pain. May your salvation, O God, set me securely on high. I will praise the name of God with song, and magnify him with thanksgiving. And it will please the Lord better than an ox, or a young bull with horns and hoofs. The humble have seen it and are glad. You who seek God, let your heart revive. For the Lord hears the needy, and does not despise his who are his prisoners. Let heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves in them. For God will save Zion and build the cities of Judah, that they may dwell there and possess it. The descendants of his servants will inherit it, and those who love his name will dwell in it. If you are familiar with the Passion story, then you realize that this psalm is a prophetic psalm. It talks about how Jesus, those closest to Jesus were the ones that persecuted him, Judas betrayed him. He was given vinegar to drink when he was thirsty. But this psalm also tells us that the Lord hears the needy. Let heaven and earth praise him. God will save. Those who love his name will dwell with him forever. So even though this is in many ways a psalm of anguish and pain, we know that at the end of the night there is daylight, there is a new day, a new dawn, resurrection morning. And that is our great and wonderful hope that we have all throughout the scriptures, that though no matter how dark things may get, no matter how hard things may seem, we know that the day is coming. We know that the best is yet to come. It is with this great glorious knowledge that we praise God today. We thank Him. We worship Him. We join together with the birds that are singing behind me here in this beautiful garden. And we just say thank you to our Lord for another new day that He has given to us. Wherever we may be, we know that He is in control. He is over all things and He loves us. So let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bless you, we thank you, we worship you, we glorify your name. We thank you for a brand new day that you have given to us. We thank you for these psalms. We thank you, Lord, that you give us these psalms and you show us how accurate your word is. So many years before Jesus, so many accurate prophecies about him that were fulfilled completely. And that just helps us to trust in your word, to know that every word is true. Everything you say will happen. And so we know we also have the great assurance of the resurrection. We know that after the night there is morning. We know that after darkness there is light. And we know that we can look forward to eternal life with you because you love us. We pray for someone who doesn't know this yet, that this would be the day they open their hearts and minds to you. Lord, we pray for the sick and the dying. We pray for all who are in need. We pray for our governments. We pray for all who are in authority. We pray, Lord, that you would just help them, give them wisdom, guide them, and lead them. We commit all to you, and we thank you that we know that with you we are secure. We pray now, Lord, that you would hear us as we join together in praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, I pray that you have a wonderful day today. God be with you. God bless you. Hopefully, God willing, I'll see you here again tomorrow. So just as a little bonus this morning, I'm just giving you a little bit of a, a look at the garden where I find myself in Wendy Whiteley's garden this morning here in beautiful Sydney. Um, here's the Sydney Harbour Bridge. A bit of the skyline. 
that's just a little bit of a bonus for you today. So God bless you. Have a wonderful day. I'll be with you. Hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow.